Welcome to box one of Hoop Club. I'm just going to talk you through the first kit and what we've got in the box. So you get your little magazine and some free postcards. And this has all the instructions and a little bit about our designer as well, Margot in Margate. So this is your kit. So first thing to do is get it in your hoop. So give it a quick iron and then place the smaller hoop on a table and the larger one over the top. Tighten it up, make sure it's nice and tight so it's easier to work on. So we've given you two skeins of black embroidery thread to stitch this kit with so you should have loads so don't worry about making mistakes. But you need to stitch this kit with two strands of embroidery thread. So your embroidery thread has six strands so split off two so you'll get three runs out of each kind of cut of embroidery thread and thread your needle with the two strands. This helps us get some nice detail around some of these sharp corners. Two strands, really important. So the main stitch we're using is a split back stitch. So you come up through your fabric, you do a normal stitch, then come up through the fabric and go back down the middle of the last stitch, just like I've done there. So we're using two strands of thread to stitch this kit um, to get them detail nice and sharp because there's lots of little lines to kind of go down. So it's one stitch, then your starting stitch, then up and then back down and split your thread. So go back down the middle of the last stitch and it just gives you a lovely full stitch. Um, it's a great filling stitch. It doesn't leave those gaps of colour. So we're going to be able to fill in this pattern and make it look really um, black and full and defined. So I'm just showing you here, if you start at one end and start on either the stripes of the lady's hair or these stripes on the jumper, you, you can see where you're going to be filling in if you start from one end. And as you start to build up the pattern, it will become obvious which bit is the bit that you fill in and which bit is the bit that you leave blank. So you'll, I think you'll get into that as you stitch the kit, but you can always refer to the picture, the original picture, to see where the, the colour is and where you leave the, the blank cotton. So as well you'll see here that I'm using just a normal back stitch. In fact I think I go into the, um, the side of the stitches that have come up vertically. So sometimes you'll need to use a little back stitch rather than a split back stitch just to get those lines of detail and maybe get around corners. So there's really, there isn't really a rule. It's kind of it depends how some people are really delicate at stitching, other people kind of less so. So whatever you feel you need to do to kind of bring out the detail um, and, you know, it's up to you how kind of careful you are or delicate you are. You can, I think this kit still looks really nice if you kind of have quite a rough and, um, yeah, kind of relaxed approach to it um, but you could also be really delicate and careful about really um, following some of these lines so mainly use the split back stitch but sometimes you'll use just a little back stitch just to get that detail in. So you just carry on with this technique all the way around the pattern and when you've finished you cut a trim around the linen and make your wadding into the size of your backing disc and fold the linen into the back of the hoop and put the backing disc on top and it will just slot in and keep it nice and tight. And so that's it, you just carry on stitching around the pattern, filling in the, the lines, filling in the shape. Um, my advice is to start with the hair 
all the jumper and leave the eyes and the mouth until you're, you've kind of got your confidence with the other areas of stitching. I really hope you enjoy this kit. I've really loved designing it and working with Margot and I'll be doing lots more video tutorials throughout the month and showing you how I'm stitching different parts and let me know how you're getting on and if you have any questions.